everybody so today I'm gonna to be doing a video on the ordinary skincare I bought three things from their brand and I actually got these products off Beauty Bay which is an online website that sells literally every single makeup brand you can think of I've never bought products from here before so I really wanted to do a kind of review video on them I've been using them for about a week and so far I have good opinions on all three of them so I'm going to talk you through what I got and what I think of them shipping and some overlay clips of me using them that kind of thing so that's what this video is so let's get into the video well this is what the box looks like when it arrives it's in this little box here and it says beauty bay on it you then open up the box and this is all you see so it's very very well packaged you then get out the little things here and here are the little boxes which is what all the products come in so i ordered the foundation which i ordered the coverage foundation and i got the high coverage foundation formula in the shade 1.2 n so this is the one i got which is light neutral i then got a high spreadability fluid primer um, and it's a spreadability enhancing lightweight surface smoother and primer so that's what this one is and then finally I picked up the alpha lift poic acid which is a concentrated serum to brighten and target signs of age that's what I got so that's what I got and now I'm going to talk about the products to you so first of all I went on to the Beauty Bay website and I was looking for some of their products because I'd read a blog post by the Anna Edit. I love reading her blog and she wrote a blog post on the foundations that they do. There was the um, full coverage foundation, which is the one I got, and then they have a lighter coverage one. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll leave a kind of overlay clip on the screen to show you what it's called but it's kind of more of a subtle lighter coverage foundation so they only do two types um but both of them are in a wide variety of shades and obviously if you prefer something lighter you'll go for the lighter one or if you prefer more full coverage then go for the one i went for it is only £5.95 and i was like oh my gosh that's so much cheaper than my rimmel one in her blog post she said how good it was and she really enjoyed it and obviously like youtubers and bloggers are going to be fairly positive but actually sometimes they are quite negative with products so i do tend to trust what they're saying when it's not a sponsored post um so i went onto the website that was what i wanted to buy then i had to look at shades and because it's online you don't really know what shade you're going to go for so i looked at her post that she did and anna said that hers was I think it was 1.2 n i'm not sure it doesn't say on the sheet but i think mine was 1.2 n or something like that i will you know leave it on the screen what it is um but that's the one i went for because that's the one she went for and she looked quite pale but not really pale she doesn't tan or anything like that really so i thought okay that's the one i'm gonna go for you know take a risk it's um you know a cheap price for a foundation so if it goes wrong i'm sure you know i can still use it but anyway got it the shade is absolutely perfect it couldn't have been better and i'm very happy that i got it so here is the foundation sorry i thought i'd just bring you a little closer and this is what it looks like it is in a normal bottle you know ordinary size ordinary size see what i did there 30 millilitres which is you know kind of like the usual size for products sorry my camera is kind of slanted slightly to this side um never mind uh, but yeah this is just the normal amount of liquid in that you'd get in your foundation bottle 5.95 really really good it's a pump bottle it feels really nice it feels very travel friendly it's quite small and it's kind of like almost a really smooth feel to it so yeah i really like the feeling of this as for the application of it when i applied it to my face the first time which was a week ago i was actually shocked at how much coverage this gave usually i use the rimmel one which is rimmel lasting finish hang on no rimmel 24 hour foundation and this i feel like is on par with the coverage of that one or slightly more and it blended out so so easily a lot more easily than my rimmel one it goes a lot further than you would think i only use a pump of this no more is needed on my face and yeah very happy with that the consistency of it is really nice however i do feel that it can look a little bit cakey anna did actually say in her post that you can tell you're wearing foundation when you're wearing this which is you know 
obvious, but a little bit more so because it is a little bit cakey when you look really, really closely. Hopefully, maybe I'll be able to get a little close up for you. Um, but yeah, it does look a little cakey, but overall, I'm very impressed with this. It lasts all day and it doesn't make my skin oily or anything like that. And I don't need to powder as much when I use this. The actual consistency of it is a lot thinner than my um, Rimmel one and some other foundations that I've used. So it is quite thin, but that does mean that a little goes a long way. So yeah, very happy I got this. And so far I'm very impressed. Um, and for the price, this is fantastic. And I think this is my new favorite foundation. Okay, the next product that I was looking for was, I kind of was browsing through their skincare because they don't have like much makeup, only really foundations from what I could see. But in terms of skincare, again, they had quite the selection, but it wasn't actually that big when you looked at it. And I have heard a lot of good things about the ordinary skincare from a lot of different YouTubers. Obviously, I'm heavily influenced by their opinions. And I do know when a YouTuber is being kind of genuine with what they're thinking. Um, because, you know, it's just obvious with how enthusiastic they are. And because everyone was saying how good it is for the price, I wanted to have a look and get a few things. I needed to get some skincare bits anyway, just to kind of top up on what I have run out of. So I thought, well, I might as well try these. So I got this primer here because I've run out of my primer, which I was using the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm, which is technically not a primer, but it works the same. And this here, um, High Spreadability Fluid Primer. So this is what it looks like. And it looks like quite a chemically bottle. It reminds me of being in chemistry and it's actually quite exciting to use because you've got the little pipette here and the product is in it like this and you kind of pipette it onto your face. And it's quite kind of gooey in consistency. It's quite sticky. And I thought when I that when I put this on, it would be really sticky on my face and it would be one of those primers that are quite sticky and tacky that your makeup then sticks to. But actually it is the complete opposite. There's two types of primers that you can get. One where it's sticky, so it sticks your makeup to it. And the other one where it makes your face really kind of soft and matte and kind of, I don't know, just basically really smooths everything out. This one is 100% the smoother. It completely smooths my face out and I am completely converted to the smoothing serums now and I am absolutely addicted to this product. I'm so happy I bought it. When I first applied this, I was like, wow, that is soft. But then I put my foundation on top and yes, I did put this foundation on top. It literally blended in so, so well. I was just like this and your foundation just completely, like it doesn't kind of leave any streaks on your face. It just blends in really nicely because your skin is so soft. And honestly, I'm so glad I got this. This is probably joint favorite with the foundation and I would definitely repurchase this again and this product is only £5.50 which I think is really decent considering the prices of things these days for products so yeah very happy with that and this is going to last me so long the milliliters in this is 30 mil again so the same as the foundation but yeah very happy with that I will obviously keep you updated on these products also, I know that obviously I use the primer and the foundation together, so sometimes it's a struggle to know which one's which for kind of blendability, but I did actually put the foundation on without the primer yesterday and it went on all right, but trust me, with the primer, it is the best. If you're gonna get anything, I would say get both, you know, because they're just really good together. And the final thing that I got, I actually kind of was scouring over the website because it said to me in my basket, you know, if you make the money up to £15, then you get free um, shipping. So I thought, well, you know, technically this next product would only cost me like a couple of pounds extra of the £15 um, just to, you know, save some money or whatever. I don't know. It's in my head process. But anyway, so I decided to go and pick something else out. And so I know my camera is so wonky right now, but you know, we're living. Um, and I decided to get this alpha lipoic acid. And this was actually the most expensive thing at six pounds. So only five P more than the foundation, but this was six pounds. And it said that it's a concentrated serum to brighten and target signs of age. So this is probably the kind of thing that you'd go for if you're more like 30 years old or something. But honestly, I didn't know what to get and I just wanted to try something that I could use on its own at night time. Again, it's in this little pipette thing here, which is really exciting. It's kind of like a pale yellowy color, almost like wee. 
um but you, you know it's not we um thankfully um and this was six pounds so it was more expensive than the other two but yeah i'm very happy that i picked this up and again this is 30 mils I don't really, I can't really give you advice on whether it's working or not because you know, you won't really tell. But I do use this four times a week because I just get so excited that I want to use it like as much as possible. When you put it on, it feels soothing and softening but at the same time, you can also feel a little bit of a sting to your face, so you can tell it's an acid. It does stay on the bottle to use it two to three times a week maximum. I have been using it four, but that's literally because I've been so excited to use it. So yeah, I'm very happy I got this, and it's like a little pipette. It goes really nicely side by side with this, and you can tell that it's, you know, gonna do something good. So I would say if you're like 30 years old, you're looking for some skincare products and this might be a good one to go for. Literally, I don't apply toner and moisturize it if I'm applying this. I, you know, it's just this product solemnly on its own. So it strips back the skincare completely and it's kind of like you're just using one product. So yeah. So as for shipping, I ordered these products on Thursday night and they actually arrived on Sunday. So three days later, I wasn't expecting them to come on Sunday. That is why I didn't answer the door. So they had to re-deliver them on Monday. But yeah, it came super quick and I was very happy. It came with a receipt. So obviously if you wasn't happy with anything, then you could return it, anything like that. Um, so yeah, that's obviously good and tells you exactly the prices of everything, what you bought, the total, everything. And they kind of email me now like with deals and things that they've got on. So, oh, you know, sometimes that's irritating, but they don't email that often. But anyway, very happy with what I've bought. I would 100% repurchase the foundation and the primer again. Don't know about the acid. Maybe I'd get a different one, um, but we'll have to see with that one. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to buy any of the products that I've mentioned, I will link them all three of them down below in the description and obviously you can go and check them out. So thanks for watching, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos if you'd like to see me again. So goodbye.